In this video, we're going to look at how to read in a file using C++ in the while loop. Now, here's our sample file that we're going to read in, numbers.txt. And inside my C++ source code, I have my include for my F stream so I can access my files, as well as some predefined variables. So let's look at how we're going to do this. We've already seen how to open up a file. So we're going to say in.open numbers.txt. And then we're going to specify our while loop. We'll say while not, which is the exclamation or something that's called the bang, in.eof. EOF is short for end of file, and it's going to let us know when we reach the end of file. So what we're saying essentially is while we have not reached the end of file. Now, what are we going to do? Well, we're going to read in our information. So we're going to say in, and we're going to pass it to number. And then we're going to take our running total. We're going to take our running total and add the number that we just read into it. And then once we're all done, we'll print to our console the information. With our local file being completely read, we're going to go ahead and then print out the total that we calculated from our while loop. If we go and run this real quick, we see it's going to come up. The total from the file is 779 which if we add up our numbers, that's what it is. Your notes we're using the while pretest loop. Reason for this is our file could be empty the when we first get it. We could possibly even not be able to access the file for some reason. Therefore, we want to make sure we're checking the end of file first before we do any calculations. That way we don't try to read something that isn't there. In languages like Python, you might use a for loop to read in a file. But in C++, we usually prefer to use the while loop as it's a little bit easier for us just based upon the constructs of the way the language works. So this is a perfect example where we're using a while loop to read a file. It doesn't matter how big the file is. Our file in this case was only three lines long. However, this file could have been much, much longer. And we don't have to make any changes to our application at all. Now when I run it, I get a new total based upon this information, and it makes it very fast and easy for me to start calculating potentially large sets of data. The program doesn't care if I'm reading in one line or 1,000 lines or even 100,000 lines. I'll just keep on reading that data in, generating the information that I need to from it based upon the file. And that's a real advantage of having a while loop. 